This is Tim. Tim has a very busy day. He starts the day off, wrong direction, then turns around, goes into the habitat, checks the animals real quick, orders some food, food is there, put the food into a little bucket, go with the bucket, be happy, clean some rocks, why some rocks? But anyways, break again, that's it. And with that, welcome back to Lago Tropicana. Today, I'm actually going to pause the game right, real quick to keep the momentum of the lighting. Uh, today, we are going to add a wonderful animal. It is called the otter. We are not going to do the small clawed otter yet. We are going to do the giant river otter um, for the moment. Uh, there are a couple of reasons. I'm going to go over them in a couple of seconds um, in the time-lapse part. But first of all, I'm going to give you the outline of today's episode. It's going to be very interesting. Um, thank you also for your feedback for the first episode. Really appreciate that. Um, uh, if you haven't seen that one, go check it out first, because then you know what the zoo is all about. Uh, but yeah, I want to make sure that people have a new target to go to, or a new um, destination, I should better call it. And so we are going to, without further ado, paint our area out. I've got a certain uh, idea about this, so let's keep things going. So first of all, let's move this fig tree away rather quickly. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is, it's, it's rather unusual, but what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put down a little pathway here in the back which is going to be our backstage access. Um, I want to keep the pathway relatively short for our um, staff members. So that's why I'm just going to quickly put down the habitat entrance already right over here. That's fine. And we can already just connect this thing here. It doesn't matter. We can actually just move that thing. Uh, let me just do that. Free build is enabled, so shouldn't be too much of an issue. Now, what I want to do is I want to have like a little island uh, area right over here in the entrance area. I'm gonna give them like a little shelter. The shelter is going to be that building here. Just not not something big. It's it's gonna be rather small. And then we've got like a little bit of an, uh, a land mass, so to say, what is going on here. But then eventually they will have, and this is what we're going to do with this type of sand, uh, they will go and have like a little swim area going all the way over here, just like something where they can do a little dive and just swim around and whatnot, just like almost like a little you know, uh, the river, I should call it. It's actually also called the Otter River. So um, basically that's what we're doing. So this is gonna be connecting here. Um, and I want to have the guest path interaction. So this part over here is going to be where they are hopefully going to dive quite a lot. So this is where the guests will also be able to see it. This inner part will also be lowered down a little so that there is like a little underwater viewing. Um, and that's about that, you know, the other path is going to go here. Um, so we do have a bit of an interaction with this area. So it's going to be rather cool. I hope that's going to work out very nicely. Um, if I'm not completely wrong, they should be having a two meter requirement for deep diving. So it's okay. You know, we should be able to do that rather nicely. Um, and I'm also going to give them like a little bit of an area to chill up on here. It's going to be in this area. It's going to be very nice. We're going to give them like a little ditch around there. I'm going to mark this here with the rock. So there's going to be like a little ditch so that the guests don't see it completely directly but I want to have like a you know something for the otters to swim here the problem though is I still can't do the same as always with the you know the staff members go over so I can only do some enrichment items here and um, if you guys have a solution for that please let me know I don't have any so uh, we have to do that and maybe I'm also going to make sure that this is maybe a bit more windy over here so it's also going to look like a bit nicer yeah not sure how exactly it's gonna look but we are going to do this I think it's gonna look good um, so yeah that's that and then the pathway is going to be is there anything I can use for the pathway? Uh, yeah, the pathway is going to be that way, like so. This over here is going to be the underwater viewing. And then we're going to create like a bridge that goes over here again. Uh, yeah, somehow like this would be good. So that's that. And then we should have like a nice little way for the guests to meander around here. So there you go. And then everything will be reconnected here. Like there's going to be like a bigger part. Um, and we're going to have like another shop that goes here but this is something we don't do in this episode it's too much but we're going to have like a shop that goes over here and of course we're going to have like another ditch uh selecting uh the, you know making sure that this one is not connected to this one uh separating that's what i was looking for so yeah that's that and i guess uh, this is the moment where we should actually do the time lapse because obviously this will take a couple minutes um and afterwards we're going to do all the other stuff like enrichment items and all that kind of stuff uh so the nice bits okay so see you after the cut in the time lapse so say goodbye to the camel face you're gonna see it back again at the other real time part later in the video so stick with me we're gonna talk about that later see you after the cut 
Okay, spoiler. This is going to be a very awesome habitat. I shouldn't say that that early on, but trust me, okay? For a franchise habitat, uh, specifically for the way I play franchise, it is absolutely ridiculous how good it turned out in a very decent amount of time but more about that in a couple minutes because um, efficiency building or efficient building in general in planet zoo is kind of a an art in its own on its own uh, you have to really consider certain things and for this series i did and i can't be more happy to say that it actually pays off quite a bit but more about that as i said in a couple seconds first let's quickly talk about um my face again even though you don't see that screen on screen right now uh, i am testing a couple of things here so just in general how the retention rate is is you know and how in general people do enjoy the games with my face on versus not uh, so we are testing this for a couple of episodes and see if that has any effect on the videos. I feel quite comfortable doing this, just right away saying that, because people might assume I don't or whatever, but I do, so it's all good. But the problem is that um, I figured already, and you see that in today's episode, that once I do record in the evening, um, this kind of fake green screen effect I'm running over my camera from Elgato is not as good as it is in daylight. It is pretty dope in daylight, so if you do a couple of things in post-production you can get it nearly perfect in uh, daylight so that people wouldn't even recognize you're not running a proper green screen but in actual lighting conditions like I have right now in the evenings uh, it's not really that good so I have to consider certain things for the new office to make that better so either way better lighting on my actual green screen because I do have one uh, the problem always was that it was couple uh, that it was nearly impossible to have it here in the you know in the attic because of the ceiling being tilled it doesn't work that that won't be an issue anymore in a week's time uh well the issue might be that we don't have internet but that's a that's a different story for a different video uh i'm going to have next week hopefully i'm not sure if but whatever now as promised let's speak about the habitat and efficient building as you can see i'm uh, going forward quite patiently, uh, pacey, pacey, whatever, I don't know if that's a word even. Uh, I have a good pace in the video in terms of putting things down. It's sped up by seven times, I guess, so you have a certain feeling how real-time building would be. So I've been very quick, and the reason why is I have certain elements and modules already prepared and then I will use these modules because I have certain things in mind and this is something how you can become super quick as well just make sure that you have some modules uh, that you can reuse all over like different wall pieces different ground pieces uh, different pieces to cover up certain areas and that makes you really a lot quicker in terms of building and obviously plan out your habitats just like I did before that helps a bunch because you don't uh, you know don't run out of space or you whatever it, it really just helps to have a certain idea where certain things go and otherwise you would put things down a lot more often without having a real effect so um yeah really as i said really happy about how it turned out uh, we had a couple issues fixing fixing the traversable area i kind of cut out most of it uh, we will have one or two kind of hiccups you know in the real time part you will see they're rather funny though I'm not gonna lie you will see in a couple seconds uh, it's really beneficial to stay with me because there are a couple of little lols in there I was a bit confused about but just like proper Planet Zoo things, you know? Planet Zoo doing Planet Zoo things. But yeah, this building over here, not, not a, in particular like a crazy art style. I'm, you know, trying to go for like a very generic and common tropical theme that mixes various things. We will have some blockhouse styles with a lot of locks using like tropical rocks. We are going to have a lot of sedge buildings. We're going to have bamboo buildings, like kind of a mixture of that. But yeah, that's about that mostly in the time-lapse part. We are almost done with it already and then we'll do the rest of planting and plant work in the real-time part. So if you're a fan of that, I highly recommend doing so. But now I have to hand you over to A, my face and B, my future voice, which is the past voice, because I already did this. Have fun! Alrighty, we are back uh, from the time-lapse and as you can see, we have prepared quite a lot already. Uh, if you have uh, looked carefully or watched carefully, you might have seen that at the end of the video you saw something uh, that is very much not likable and that is that our otters simply cannot swim down here. I'm not sure if this is a deep water requirement problem, I think it's not because as you can tell over here, um, there is a bit of an issue. Um, the space as well, but this is because they can't actually reach this area, uh, which might be an 
easy solve, uh, solve uh, solution by just getting rid of the path supports. I have no idea if that's the solution. Also, I wanted to check if there's like a bit of a nicer looking bridge over here. I'm just going to check if that's something I like better. I think for this specific area, I like this style of the bridge quite a lot more. Um, that said, I'm not sure if this is already the solution, uh, simply because it could be that it wasn't that it's actually the the height of the bridge itself because it does touch the water um, i'm going to show this real quick to you you can see it is actually in the water so maybe that is in particular the reason why they can't dive through uh, even though if i'm not completely wrong let me just type in two meters uh, we should be good in terms of height like we should be safe as you can tell there is a good two meter depth in in here but it seems like the game is like ah uh, you know nope 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 yeah it is definitely two meter requirement let me hit play again and see if anything changes now oh boy it did this is already it it was only the supports i quite like that okay so the next problem we have over here is that they can escape uh, on on these edges um that's again rather a simple fix we just have to raise that a little bit over here and then also let me just get rid of these things i just kind of dislike how it looked anyway so that should be an easy fix by just making sure we have these things and just like merge them down a little you know and stuff like that should look good also change the color a bit but I, you know i'm not the biggest fan of Oh my god, this looked very awkward indeed. Uh, can I have like a little... Yeah, that's good. And a tiny bit darker. There you go. Um, this is going to hopefully look a lot better once we have the plants in. Uh, some of the areas look quite good. Some of the others don't, but it's okay. Um, let me just also quickly check again up on you. You can still escape. Is that true? Or is that just not updated? Oh, look at that. They can still escape. What a pity though. Um, how exactly am I going to fix that here? I think it's going to be... Can they? It's almost like as if they climb these things up, but it's okay. We are just going to uh, look for where's that one? I've got a specific piece in mind. There you go. Is that where that was? I I didn't save that. Okay, so let me just plop that in and hit play again. And also let's check this one. Let's see if that fixed the issue. They still can escape on that thing. Oh man. Okay, well let's just rotate this thing a little and then push it up here. There you go. That should now do the trick. And they should now be able to not escape anymore. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so how's the habitat in, in general? Terrain is good. Space is still not where it needs to be because of the land mass, I guess, is the issue here. Um, there is a fix for that, I guess. <laughs> and that is just giving them more land mass by, um, you know, uh, adding a couple of rocks and stuff over here. They have way more than enough deep water, so that's good. I wonder if, if it's enough if I go into nature and just let's see if we can utilize this thing. And then just merge, wait, no, merge that in here. I think as long as we stay above water, it should be all good. And just give them like a proper area here. Hopefully they can't escape in that corner. Definitely gonna have a look at that. Um, and also we could give them a bit more space here. Just wanna ensure that they can go in the middle. That should be good. And then we cover that up with plants. Let me just see if that changes thing. Calculating, awesome, look at that. Okay, now we have a bit of an escaping issue again weird that they can jump up here it seems really like a little issue with those pieces but it's okay uh you know uh, as long as we can fix it easily i'm not too mad about this at all uh, maybe we can use like another boulder here as well just like that one is good that one is nice as well just like fix that in here awesome i think that should actually do the trick yeah 401 is really it's, it's not that much space available for them, so maybe we need to give them here and here, you know, in the future a bit more terrain. I focus on giving them more water, to be honest. I think that was my focus. Uh, not sure how easy it is to give them like a little floaty islands here and there. I mean, we could technically, uh, in order to just give them even more space, we could just make like a floaty island maybe out of that piece. But not really. I'm, you know, it's it's. I I could do this. Maybe we can also just do that one over here. Just give them like a little floaty island. Just a couple of other pieces in between here, just to make it look a bit nicer. And uh, maybe I don't want to make them escape, so maybe just give that 
a little space here. I mean, they can traverse there anyway, so let's just put it in and see if that changes the thing. Let's have a little look. Uh, okay, that was that is super weird. So maybe that just blocked this area. Nope. Let me just see. Okay. Welp. Still didn't fix it. Still didn't fix it. Okay, that is awkward. How on earth and why is that happening? Is it because people now crossed over? Like I... Whoa. Uh, whoa. Okay. Okay, game. If you think that's the way of doing it, fine. Fine by me. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's just quickly check if we find a male over here. Uh, oops. No. Giant otter, please. We didn't have a male in here earlier. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, that's a fantastic one. 202. That one is also good. Let's let's get that one. Okay, send it to the zoo. Send it to the zoo. There you go. Okay, before we put it in, uh, we are just going to do a bit more quicker build here. We've got six and a half minutes done again. Oh my god, I don't want to take, make it too long. So what we're going to do is first of all check the terrain. Um, that's an easy fix, I guess. Less rock, more sand. That is easy. So let's go to sand and just. I had some issues here, here and there. So I'm just going to wait. Let me just do that. This is where we actually had more rocks, so we can just paint over that real quick. This is just going sand goes in, and then we need to have like a little bit more long grass, I guess. Here and there. Look. Look. Fantastico. Fantastico. Now we have got the jungle done. And yeah, you know what? This is also the jungle, so we can basically just paint it over. No, it's too less sand. Okay, okay, okay. It's definitely not an Anakin. It's definitely not an Anakin here. They just need more sand. They don't hate sand though, and this is weird, but it's okay. I take that. Okay, awesome. Done. Let's put in the filters here and grab them some plants because they are obviously missing out on quite some. And we need to make this lush. This is this is something I like about otters. They like lush habitats and so we love it um, as well. So we can just make it as lush as we want to possibly do it. And that is something I barely have and I love the fact that we can do it with those animals. We can just go wild now, uh, which I love. We barely do this in like real time parts and this is so cool because how much money is left? Oh, there's way more than enough money left. So that's good. So we can actually do crazy coverage over here. Like these trees, like the mangrove trees are also fitting in quite well over there. I really want to make it as lush as possible and mix in certain other things. We can also have these in here in the middle because they fit in these areas quite nicely. Uh, these animals obviously can't climb, so we can actually always use these these trees to our advantage also to give the the guests some shade and you know oh wait but they can climb we shouldn't do that too much over there awesome okay can we have like another version of these there you go just to have some variants as well yeah not sure how exactly it's gonna look but i'm, I'm just going to try to get the best the best things in to just make it look good um i think these these palm trees um yeah, no, no, no. I had them, I had them in mind for a second, but then I was like, ah, you know what? No, uh, this is this is pretty cool for having like a bushy background here uh, to block away some of the ugliness of uh, where the guests come from in the background. So we're just going to place these things in. It just, oh, look at that! This is so cool. Just giving this river like the the, the right feel immediately, uh, and we're gonna use the smallest one to get a bit of ground coverage underneath that just to have this shrubbery in same goes for that one over here noise and then we can have some of these wonderful growing oops friends down there i mean not of them not much of the blooming would work because just on the sides maybe the rest needs to be like very much green because that's below the other stuff oh, like that is good uh, and we can also put one on top here i guess that one looks cool too just making it very jungle-ish Welcome to the jungle. Uh, yeah, that's that's nice. That's sweet. So we can just put a couple more here, a couple more here. It's not like in the habitat, but uh, you know, it's getting there. We can also have some cool plants here and there. You know, just getting in. Oh, look at that. We just have to do quite a lot over here, like this. And do we have anything else bushy? We have got some some nicer plants like this. We can also put them 
here in these corners. You know, I, I still wanted to have something of... Oh my god, not, not like this. Not, not, not really, not at all. So we can have some cool little overgrown stuff here in the, in the ground as well. Same goes for here. Just making sure that everything looks a little bit more lush and overgrown and just as if these plants are meant to be here, which technically and practically they are. So let's do this. Oh wait, no, I need to just ensure that they still can go out there. Awesome. Let me just use the smaller ones as well. It's a little bit easier. So there you go. Awesome. I love that. I, I really think this is getting in uh, with a nice vibe. Look, this is this is kind of a cool river. We do still need to give a bit more character to it. So let me just grab that thing. And that goes over here, like so, from the underwater viewing. Um, that's nice. And we do need to... No, I don't want to like it. I just want to ensure that we have this as a, a thing where other things can grow on we definitely give them like a bit of a nice texture this this tree also has to go in like definitely going over here with the colors and stuff i really like it i really do like it so this is where the river is going to end then um like we can also have these in here just making it really lush i'm still looking for some something really bushy though like these things are always good ground covers for here as well because they shouldn't block the traversable area and gives like a bit more of a lush feeling. Uh, nice to be used, but I'm still missing out on something. Yeah, I can't really use that as a ground cover, can I? I mean, the fig tree always looks kind of nice as well, but we don't really have that big of an area to to use that. So we might need to use the fig tree as what it is, the fig tree, like so just as it is growing in here. I think that works. I think that works just fine. I want to obviously keep the front a little bit open so that our friends uh, can look at the animals. Really not sure what exactly I can use. It's still way too big. Like something more bushy is required. I mean, I could put all of these in here in the front, but that will look rather repetitive in a second. So I'm just going to put a couple in. And then maybe maybe this is still good. Maybe these these can do the trick here, just to have like this front a little bit nicer looking. There we go, there we go. And then we just need to to use where's the ah uh, no I don't want to use those, but we do need to have the scavola bush. So that is what we can use over here. Scavola, scavola. I'm I'm not sure how exactly you pronounce that, but something like this. And then we have it. Have it, have it, have it, hang, uh, 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 have it, <laughs> sorry, have it hanging here. That's what I wanted to say. Let's use the bigger one here. Like, really like so. Really want to make sure that everything looks a bit nicer and overgrown. And still needing something that is in with this root. Mm. Da da da, da da da. Like the bigger one goes fine. That goes well together with it. Maybe we have some reed as well, but ah, uh, or maybe we don't. Like we can also see, yeah, that's 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 what I'm talking about. Something like this is required. Hopefully the hitbox is not too crazy, just to ensure that not everything looks weird. Okay, and now the only thing we have to do is we have to make this this thing really bushy, really overgrown. Maybe we can have this one in there as well. I think that looks good, but the rest has to go with like a bush or something. Uh, I saw, yeah, again, that's the one that we have. This is this is good. We can make this work. Awesome. Just make that like very jungle-ish and then get a couple of these color touches in, but not with this. Maybe with some reed. Yeah, that's good. Just giving it a bit of character here. That's nice. I want to make sure that this all looks good. Okay, right. And now we have the river from above. That looks fine. They just meander through here. That's all good. Just making sure that this front looks a bit nicer here. And then, oh my god, we have such a long episode. I don't want to go crazy, but I did. So, uh, yeah, let's just put a couple of those plants here in the front. We can actually do a lot more with this area, guys. I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. So let's do the important bits, because otherwise I will definitely forget that. Uh, do we have like a single piece of this? Oh yeah, look at that. We can just quickly adjust the fence here, so that this goes very much in line with the rest. 
very neat and tidy so we can have something like that in here that looks super jungle-ish indeed so i love it and uh, the reason why i'm not putting any bigger trees over here is for the moment i don't want to block the view into this area too much so uh, that's why in case we are wondering uh, it just kind of casts these crazy shadows at this time of day but maybe as soon as i know how the shadows in general work here in this area i might change it but for the moment being it is good the way it is um yeah that's where we have the underwater viewing not sure if i should put too much of a fence in but i'm i'm just like quite a big fan of this fence so let's just do it that way bit of a fancy fancier good okay with with the fence but what we don't have is obviously educational content and donation bins so we gotta have to do that i mean we don't have too much money do we so we still need some opportunities to gather more money which in fact is donating so there you go uh putting that in here as well maybe people will stand here too and maybe there i think it's a kind of a cool habitat experience because you can walk so nicely around here have like the full experience of the otters explore this area and blah 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 uh, by the way speaking of we should give them some enrichment shall we giant otter there you go and make that work so again as i said we have to ensure that we give them all the toys on this side so that they really want to go here the mud bath could go very nicely over there but i'm i'm just thinking that it makes more sense here i'm not going to put that down quite yet um just doing this giving them like a little water enrichment piece and everything that has to do with food has to stay on that side but there's really not that much food enrichment do they have they have like the block of ice which we can put here nice so one of that one nice ice gonna give them like a food tray awesome and that's about that let's have a look if the enrichment okay what's missing the species food enrichment obviously is not great so let's go enrichment food enrichment uh we can have the fish feeder that is definitely doable because we do have this area and for whatever reason they can always feed that so that's awesome look at that the food enrichment is already done awesome and it's diving look at that we have the otter diving right away which is good because that's always as you can tell my biggest issue where's the otter gone where is it i saw it diving but oh there you go there you go it's going down awesome low on cash yeah i know i know i know but it's it's fine i'm a big fan guys of what we've created that is a very neat habitat for a franchise and it's just a very neat habitat just in general so hopefully you did enjoy today's episode while it's all turning dark why is it turning dark it's bright again look at that sun goes up hello it's as tim has uh you know tim had its good job and started the day right. I loved him, you know. It's very important to love Tims, just in general, you know. Love Tims is very important that you can just be awake and say, I love Tim, because he's our only keeper. And guess what? Tim is not having the otters on its list, um, or on his list. So let's just add the otters real quick to the list, because otherwise we forget. Uh, exhibit and work zone manager, exhibit entrance, edit work zone, add the otters. Awesome. Done. That's that, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Again, as always, if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. Or if you enjoyed the videos and you want to watch more, you can do so up here. There's going to be a new video that you may like. Uh, but I don't have more to say. Enjoy your day. Have a good time. And goodbye.